if we look at sustainability, the clear priority is the reduction of carbon emissions. In our industry, in transportation and logistics, we are quite carbon intensive, but it's also quite difficult to find alternative technologies. It's quite costly. So if you look at the electrification of the fleet, we are quite well progressed when it comes to pickup and delivery. So we have about 29, 30,000 vans by now, electric vans. 24,000 they're off in our parcel and postal network in Germany. So that's already a quite big share. The next level is the electrification of line haul or the decarbonization of line haul of heavier trucks, medium and heavy duty trucks. That is way more tricky, it's uh, more costly, the technology is not as efficient yet and charging and the availability of green electricity becomes a real topic. I do think that the availability of green energy is a particular challenge in Europe. Uh, given the geography, we'll always need to import molecule-based energy uh, into that geography because wind and uh, solar is, is insufficient to replace all forms of fossil fuels. So this is a particular challenge we're facing in Europe that grids need to be expanded, that there needs to be a transition to also a hydrogen-based uh, economy, hydrogen-based transport, which will definitely happen, but it might well be 20 years out. And that is not enough. We need to do something now. So we're looking also at bridge technologies, Biomethane, for instance, compressed natural gas um, is one of those bridge technologies to make progress faster on the decarbonization journey. I think we're quite proud that we got on our way early when it comes to electrification of uh, pickup and delivery activities. Uh, I mentioned we have about 29 going to 30,000 vans this year. So that um, is a good uh, start, but uh, we need to do more. Uh, we are only building green buildings um, ourselves, uh, entirely carbon neutral buildings. So I think that's also a great achievement that on the real estate side, we really have good solutions in place. But there's a lot to do when it comes to trucking and particularly aviation. Good. My message for the Green Post today would be, let's exchange best practices. It's really an important topic for all of us to continue to make progress on this journey and also jointly talk to regulators to get sensible policies into place that don't hold us back doing the right thing. There's a lot of things, a lot of energy going into reporting and other activities that constrain us in technology choices. We want to make progress and every molecule of CO2 less counts.